life is full of many situations ups and downs tests and trials and manifold disappointments child of god if you live long enough in this life one thing you cannot avoid is disappointment and many times it can come from the strangest of places you will be tested in many ways god will try your faith to see how you would respond in the midst of the storm in genesis the 50th chapter after a great episode in the life of a patriarch in the person of joseph the father passes away and from the 15th verse it says and when joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead they said joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him and they sent a messenger unto joseph saying thy father did command before he died saying so shall ye say unto joseph forgive i pray thee now the trespass of thy brethren and their sin for they did unto thee evil and now we pray thee forgive the trespass of the servants of the god of thy father and joseph wept when they spake unto him and his brethren also went and fell down before his face and they said behold we be thy servants and joseph said unto them fear not for i am not in the place of god but as for you ye thought evil against me but god meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive now therefore fear ye not i will nourish you and your little ones and he comforted them and spake kindly unto them in the quest of life's struggles and demands people will make choices and decisions that they may later regret people in the course of trying to survive can sell a loved one they can disappoint a person they can make decisions just so they can survive and such was the situation with the brothers of joseph that led to a down spiral of his life for certain periods and seasons my friend you may have experienced the same thing also where people you trusted and relied upon where people you believed in failed to believe in you where people you hoped you could have something with for a long time rejected you where people broke your heart child of god hear this such moments can be well used and orchestrated by god in fact we see in this story and in the verses above that joseph begins to cry and begins to weep he looks at the situation and he is able to say you meant it for evil but god had a plan child of god it doesn't matter what you have gone through it doesn't matter what people have done against you check properly look at the bright side of things look at where you are now joseph was invariably saying god blessed me regardless god blessed me anyway i made it anyway child of god people may reject you do not hold it against them what's important is look at what god has done because god is able to call out light from darkness god is able to turn the challenges into blessings god is able to cause your enemies to work together for your good god did exactly that here in the life of joseph and he is saying i am able to turn the plans of the enemies to turn the plans of your haters and those who meant you evil those who in their selfishness sold you off i am able to turn their actions into a blessing understanding this is very important so that we can let go of the hurts and the grudges as we learn from the life of joseph he had no animosity whatsoever he had no enmity against his brethren they didn't even need to ask for forgiveness because actually he forgave them child of god are you holding on to the hurts and the pains when god has actually blessed you look at your life today regardless of all the animosities and the envies and the hatreds and the disappointment see how far god has brought you you must look and speak like joseph also and say god has blessed me regardless god turned things around for me the things that were meant for evil he was able to turn it to good child of god you are not in a disadvantaged place 
Yes, people may have hurt you from time past, but those hurts and those disappointments contributed to making and forming who you are today. Learn to live a life of gratitude that God did not let you remain in the well when they threw you into the well. Be grateful that God did not make you remain as a slave. Be grateful that God did not keep you in the prison, but that God was able to move you from that same prison to your palace. Child of God, are you in a palace today or are you on your way there? Whatsoever it is, do not hold on to the past. Let go and let God. Trust God because He was always behind every action of those who disappointed you. You must realize that sometimes in life, disappointments can become a blessing. That heartbreaks can become the best things that ever happened to you. That failures and rejections can be a pointer to where your blessing is. Do not hold on to the wounds and the hurts and the disappointments. Yes, they pained you. Yes, they hurt you. But God is able to make his good purpose to still come in your life. Let go, child of God, and let God have his way. Enjoy the goodness and his blessings right now at this phase of your life. Be grateful that there were people who could be instruments and tools to help you to get there. They are like traffic lights and road signs and roadblocks that were intended to sometimes slow you down and sometimes to redirect you, but they were never actually intended to be evil against you. In the moment of time, in the heat of the moment, we may not understand why things that are happening are happening. Just as at the time when Joseph was sold, when he was sold to slavery, I'm sure it was difficult, it was tough for him, but God always knows how to work everything together for your good and favor. Child of God, look back now and see, and with confidence be able to say, God blessed me anyway. Be able to look and say, I made it anyway. I made it without your help. I made it without your support. Be thankful for those people who told you no. Be thankful for those people who refused you and who made life difficult for you that made you become strong and tough enough to become who you are today. That made you to take your eyes off of men, to look to God and put your confidence in Him. For if they had not rejected you, you would not have been able to look onto the hills from whence comes your help and from whence came also your provision. Child of God, God is able consistently to turn every evil and every pain and every rejection and disappointment that you are going through right now also to become a blessing. Remember, He did it before. He is able to do it again. God, my friend, is about to turn a challenge into a blessing. He is about to turn a rejection into direction. He is about to turn sadness to joy. Your joy is about to come. May God bless you.